Found it right off the bat, didn't I? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I hate that, like, so, oh. so much. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny, and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to episode 42 of Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, Signs of a Counteroffensive. It just seems like, especially with Kimberly having two of those stones, it's going to be hard to kind of stop any yeah. of them, because they're all just walking massive powerhouses of energy. How do you have any semblance of morale going into a fight where you know that's your opponent? Left Ed stabbed through. He had to use part of his life force to heal his wound, and now he's being carried into the underground. Meanwhile, Al's on the ground and kind of passed out at the same time. I feel like this whole thing is so like unprecedented that no one really like has any life experience they're referencing. Except Hohenheim. Exactly. If he can get in a room with them, he could just tell them everything. Yeah. Yeah. Which makes me think the only reason he's not there is doing something important like building an upside down array. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for episodes of Full Metal Alchemist coming every Thursday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see several episodes ahead, these episodes are all posted Patreon right now in their extended uncut forms, along with these episodes of Demon Slayer and a few episodes of our new series, Owl House. Are we excited for episode 42 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Yeah, they just carried his armor. Wow. He's not waking up. Oh no. Look at this. He mentions that phrase oh. again here. Yet another term for gold. It's got to be some kind of pattern. What are you trying to do? We believe What's there's a that? chance these notes were written in code. You think so? Alchemists oh, are typically alchemy very protective mm -hmm. of their research and methods. They bury the meaning of their they notes really in a layer the, of metaphor and like allegory. The breadcrumb trail. These are mm -hmm. almost straightforward. There's something else going on. We notice that he uses several different terms for gold and immortality across various passages. So we're checking to see if they're connected. And you think that could be the code? We're hoping so. <sighs> oh. oh. Where am I? Ow! Alpha! Oh my goodness, you're okay. I was so scared you might not wake up. I didn't know what to do. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to freak you out like that. So where are we? And why am I in pieces? That's not ideal. It. As for why you're in pieces, you were too heavy to carry home. So That's what I was wondering. You. Huh. That makes sense. Sorry to put you guys out like that. Has this ever happened to you before? Sorry to put you guys out with my almost losing my soul. Has this ever happened to you before? Just once, when I was trying to find you guys. Well then. I can't imagine it's very comfortable being scattered about like that. Why don't we start putting you back together? Please, yeah. if you don't mind. Can you hold on to this? Uh, let's see. This goes... Isn't that a part of his right shoulder? Oh, yes, seems to be. I guess we should like... reassemble him correctly. She's a bit yeah, more qualified. Yeah, maybe let's just let one re yeah. take the lead on that. Why is that a breakthrough thought? Is it hidden in the book? Do you have to reassemble the book? What put the book back me? together? Oh, what have you done? How could you be so careless, May? We need to rearrange the pieces. What if we try connecting each occurrence of the words for gold and immortality by physically overlapping them? Does it form an array? Interesting. Okay. Wow. An immortal being. This phrase appears earlier in the notes. A true being. That overlaps here. Now, where did I see this? Here. Let me take a look at those other pages, Marco. Golden, that connects over here. And what about Aurelian? Oh, yeah, right here. That's so crazy. Yeah. 
May's really smart. Yeah. I mean, the fact That's that she's the brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Okay, what the? What does that? Did that do tell us though? anything? It's like. Oh, obviously. There okay, it is. Okay. Great. Well, I mean, do we even finish watching the show? Nope. It's it's there's there's another array. Oh, I was being sarcastic. What are you talking about? Oh, you're. You don't see it? No. What the? What am I supposed to be seeing? Oh my God, she doesn't see it, guys. <laughs> look, you don't see it. Are they? Are they supposed to look like owls? Are you ready? Yeah. Oh Jesus, fuck. Okay. Okay. See this? Yeah. There's also these in between two, 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 two. Mm-hmm. And you know it's funny. In the transmutation, the human transmutation circle in the fifth laboratory, they had two people tied back to back in between each uh, of these. Uh, I'm saying. I wonder if we. And those look an awful lot like the stuff on the truth door. Mm-hmm. It can't be. Countrywide transmutation circle. Yep. Uh, it's too late for this to help us now. Wait, you saying what I think? You mean these damn research notes are completely useless to us? No way, you can't be serious. But what about the what's gonna happen to our families, our country? Hold on. I'm sorry. Oh. I should have known this was nothing but an act of futility. It was naive to think someone else's research could save us. There's a piece of research they haven't looked at. His arm. Is this really all that you were trying to tell me? After all of your research, you couldn't see a way to stop this. We're missing something. His right arm is destruction. We've only broken the first code, and I bet there's more. There's got to be some other message hidden in there. Wait, didn't they reassemble him? They were starting to oh. when she broke the... Gotcha. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, can't you tell me you're you idiot? List. Well, thanks for caring that I'm getting sick. Don't I tell me that gives the... fact that I'm catching pneumonia. Who cares? Uh, you can't even tell which side of the page is right side up anymore. <laughs> upside Good down. Good job, moron. You blew the whole damn thing upside down. That's gotta be it. Mm -hmm. You take a bad situation and you turn it around. There's two sides. We've got to put it back together and then flip it over. Interesting. All right. Well, what happens if you flip it? You were right, Al. This is it. It's a new Amestrian transmutation circle, but it's activated through Shinghi's Algastri instead. And this is what? This is what Hohenheim is building. Okay. Because it's only activated by Shinyi's alkahestry. Mm -hmm. So this explains, like, this guy's whole research was how to combine Shinyi's alkahestry and Amestrian alkahestry. So obviously, the combination of the two is one is one way, and if you flip it, it the other one's the other way. Mm -hmm. you know? And we saw that circle at the end of the intro, and it makes me think it's going to undo what the other one does. Crazy. Episode 42, Signs of a counter -offensive. Okay, so if you turn it upside down, it makes a different circle using Shingy's alkahestry. Mm -hmm. Ew. Uh, oh, or is that just his notes? Probably that's how it works. That was gross. No yeah. That someone's come through this way. I might have taken the wrong path after all. Guess I'll turn back. Oh, I don't like this. Right? Nope. Yeah. Also, Kimberly's kind of lost both of the fights he's been in. He lost a scar and then blew everything up, and then lost Ed and blew everything up. Mm -hmm. Oh, the tracks. So he's made what it to the tunnel. Here? They must have been using this place to dispose of the excess rubble from the tunnel that Sloth has been digging. Oh, shit. Shadow you Boy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh My god, it's so Pride. scary. Can I help you with something, Pride? Any new developments with Scar? 
I'm actually pursuing him now. Worry about him later. As for now, go ahead and carve the crest of blood at Briggs. With all due respect, Pride, the soldiers of Briggs are much stronger and more resourceful than you might realize. It's not exactly a simple task. Then use their strength to your favor. <laughs> Slog is near the completion of the tunnel, so there's little time left. Oh. So okay. it's an urgent matter. Well, if you insist that I carve the crest of blood at Briggs, I'd be happy to oblige you. Oh boy. So he's gonna blow up this whole wall. Is, he gonna, is that what he's gonna do? Is he just gonna- Like that's the end game? Is he just gonna come here and just use both stuff? Because if he has both stones. It's interesting how, because Kimberly is so almost removed from the human experience now, like he just kind mm -hmm. of like is so objective that he wasn't even scared of pride at all. He was just like, oh, well, if you want me to do this other thing, I'll totally yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Just like didn't even perceive him as a threat. Yeah, like Hawkeye was like sweating mm -hmm. and like and he was just like, oh, whatever, are you? I guess you're pride. Nice. Yeah. Welcome back to the fort, Major. Any changes to report? None since we spoke. The situation is still normal here, but we've heard that Kembly has gone missing. You heard right. There was an explosion in one of the mine shafts. No one's heard from Kimbley or a few others since then. We did a thorough search through the rubble, but no bodies turned up. <sighs> are the other men that are missing Briggs soldiers? No. They were two of Kimbley's men. And the Full Metal Alchemist. <gasps> is that so? I wonder what, where he is and what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I hope he's all right. Me too. So are things any better there? Afraid not. The border war in Pendleton was a massacre. Of course. If the military was hoping for casualties, they sure as hell got them. It's just like you said. They're sending men in to be slaughtered for this transmutation. Oh my circle. god. What's going on in the south? Have you spoken with Fury? We talked on the phone a while back. It's just as bad down there. They're locked in combat with Arago. Yeah, they, they've just been orchestrating all of these conflicts. I gotta say, as much as it is obviously sinister and villainous this is a masterfully put together plan 100 percent oh keep moving thomas oh Just that's the paw oh thomas oh no he runs Damn communications it. i'm gonna survive this i'm gonna live i won't die for this that's terrible oh no I guess it's to be expected. The higher-ups aren't our biggest fans. Have you been in touch with the Colonel? Yeah. We've been using a messenger connected to the Armstrong family. Hmm. Good to hear. Just be careful with everything going on up there. I am. Well, trying to be. Bradley's got his soldiers everywhere up here, working around the clock to create hell on Earth. And the worst part is, there's nothing we can do. Underground. Oh boy. In the slot. Oh, he's all oh. done. He, did he reach the beginning again? Didn't finish it. He finished it. The circle's complete. Tunnels connected. Huh. I'm all done working. Does this mean I can rest? Can I pride? The time draws near. The day of reckoning is almost within our grasp. Oh boy. Full Metal Alchemist. Jesus Christ. Full Metal Alchemist. It's interesting that Von Hohenheim used to look stoic and like angry, and now he looks determined whenever I see him. Yeah. Hey everyone! Go ahead and line up! It's time to take a lunch break! Yeah. You know, Rose, I'd love to try your like way too peaceful. Sometime. Promise to make it as soon as we get some meat. <laughs> I'll try to be patient. Uh, pardon me. I confess I haven't been able to do any work, but would you please give just a little bit of food to these children? Well, of course I'll feed them. But you have to eat too, okay? Oh, it looks delicious. 
Hey, Rose, pile it high. You know I can't. Everyone gets the same amount. Um, excuse me, miss. Bono and I'm. May I have some food? Oh. Ah, thank you. You saved me. Literally. Thanks so much. Where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? I'm not really from anywhere. I tend to travel mostly. Hmm. And yeah, you don't want to live in one spot if you're not mm -hmm. Don't be the pry. We're just surprised to have a tourist. Most people tend to avoid Lior. There isn't much left here after the riots. Your cooking is a good enough reason to visit. That's sweet of you to say, but I don't know about that. I just wish there was more I could do to help out around here. Don't underestimate yourself. A delicious meal and the smile of a lovely young lady are more help than you can imagine. <laughs> By the way, I hate to impose any further than I already have, but can you point me towards the church? Which church? Well, I'm actually looking for the church of Leto where the riot started. This is what's left of it. There's nothing left inside either. Oh, Do you it's know still... if there's a passage yeah. that leads underground? Uh, yeah. I can show you where it is. Of course there is. What the fuck is that? The rat. Ew. And what's this? The water turned toxic. No one's really sure how it happened. I get the feeling that this was put here to keep people from going any further. So... Wait! Hey, what are you doing? That stuff will kill you! Not if you can walk on water. <laughs> like, yeah. What's symbolism there? Mm-hmm. They're it's really setting him up to kind of... That's no miracle, but I know what it is. That's alchemy. What? Oh! I, sorry, I'm realizing something actually important, and this is concrete. When he uses alchemy, even though he's using Philosopher's Stone-style stuff, it's blue because he's not using alch alchemy he's using alchemy. interesting okay i also just thought of something yes they keep talking about how the whole thing with al is that it's like his spirit and his soul right like it there's the like the suit of armor but like the being part is what's there so there's a father and a son and a spirit That's because they keep talking about how the only thing about the suit of armor that's like human is all spirit. Wow. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And, you know, in that vein, father kind of seems like the devil, mm -hmm. you know, and I feel like that's fascinating because he is every time he'll let like, go and he literally saw Zumi and healed her wounds. Like mm -hmm. that was there such are tons a... of religious okay, like overtones. Now, so now they show a scene of him walking on water like it's fast because he is kind of like what it, could God be able to do? Just generate anything at any time and be immortal and like that's what he's doing you know all knowing all powerful and good yep that's alchemy you can see the alchemy signs on the wall because it was hasted uh, alchemy too would you mind waiting for me? yeah so he's in the circle done that's mm -hmm. scary okay. i wonder what they're gonna do with sloth now mm. I don't see them being like, a, okay, yeah, you can just like chill now. Yeah. It's oh no, now enormous. pride can get to Hohenheim. I'm impressed. <laughs> it suddenly went all out making this. Oh. Found it right off the bat, didn't I? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I hate that like so, oh. so much. God, the way it moves. Freaky. He did find it off the bat. Mm. Good to see Hohenheim getting involved, though. Yeah. True. How can his body that move like this? Down. Okay, then. Maybe it's like a tunnel thing. Oh shit! I don't think it can be trapped. It's yeah. Just, no. How would that affect the tunnel, though? Oh. Huh. Like the circle. Yeah. Oh god. Really, that's all I've got. 
but he can't be killed because he's part of the plan. Mm -hmm. What? Something oh, there's no wrong. shadow connection. Aren't you going to attack me? Uh... Oh. <clears throat> Just like you must be von Hohenheim. So I'm assuming that this must be the edge of your container. You'll die if you pass it. Oh. Correct. You can't so survive just lives outside in the of your container, can mm -hmm. you? It's not much different than your flask, is it? I'm oh. guessing that you can only move freely within these tunnels and central city. Am I right? I'll take that as a yes. What's wrong? Why the silent treatment? Did I hit a nerve? Ooh. It's angry. Interesting. Are you angry? I'm never angry. Anger does not exist within me. I have no need of such things. I left all unnecessary emotions within father. All but one. My name is Pride. Pride the arrogant. That makes sense. I can see your conceit. There are seven deadly sins within man. Lust. Greed. Finally. Sloth. Gluttony. Envy. Wrath. And of course, pride. You're obviously the first one that he separated. Pride was his strongest trait. And the mere fact that he took the time and energy to give you his original appearance. That act alone shows how egotistical he truly is. Ah, you that was his original appearance. Of your father. Yeah, him in the flask, he I'm looks just like him. Yeah. Don't try to rush me, Pride. I don't need an invitation to call on him. But you oh. can give him a message. Tell him Slave 23 will be dropping in quite soon. Is she. Just tell him to be patient and relax in his chair beneath Central. I'm coming. I am waiting, Von Hohenheim. Yes, I am waiting for you. Oh. Yeah, that's the chessboard of all mm -hmm. the people he's going to use. What did we think of that scene? Okay. First of all, he just dissected it completely. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, second of all, the th it made me think of something, which was pride probably wants to usurp father. Because pride, how can you be the epitome of pride and not think you're actually the best and not second best? You know what I mean? And that anger where he's like, I'm not angry. It makes me think that he secretly is just like, huh? holds resentment. All right, I could totally see that. Also, the fact that that tunnel is simply a pride delivery device. Yeah. And like the all of the shadow like edge stuff, I feel like that's got to come back. Yeah. Oh, here he comes. Did you find anything? Yes, dangerous and disturbing things not meant for ordinary people. Please tell everyone to honest. stay far yeah. away from here. All right. were you doing in there? Hmm. Sending a declaration of war. All right, Aaron Yeager. Yeah. You're you know, right. it's it's nice to see him not like super sad. He seems like a little bit determined and confident. You're relieved. What took you so long? We've been miserable in this storm. Well, anyway, I think some terrible coffee should warm us up. <laughs> Enjoy it. Oh boy. Oh shit. The blood seal. That's so cool. What is that? Are they people? Yeah. It has to be, right? It's Drachma! Oh, it's Drachma. The other country. Oh, okay. The Russia country. They orchestrated it, of course. I wonder how they got the other countries to declare war at the right time. Right? How do you set that up i guess i mean with the amount of government control they have in their like own government 
Would it be crazy to assume that it was other governments? You know what I bet it was? I bet Envy went over there and killed an innocent person. That's so true. Briggs has been called away. Good timing, Mr. Kimley. And on top of that, Convenient. I've got a number of my top men already stationed inside the fort. They'll spring their treachery when the fighting starts. The ensuing chaos should weaken them from within. <laughs> my country has long dreamed of the day that we can breach the walls of that abomination. Fort oh, Briggs Kim Lee's working on it. Drama by nightfall. Mm -hmm. Well, let's send a declaration of war. What do you say we give them a nice fireworks show for starters? All cannons, prepare to fire! Oh boy. And Armstrong's not there to lead them, that's terrible. Wow. So the Battle of the Wall of Briggs has begun. Officially. Wow. It's nice to see you, Doctor. It's been too long. Now, who do you think you are? You honestly believe you could pull one over on me? Oh. Yikes. Oh, what is this? Oh, jeez. guess not. So that was episode 42 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. What are your first thoughts? I'm wondering how like all of the deadly sins and like that whole group is going to be working with or not even necessarily working with, but just like working in conjunction with the other countries. What homunculi and what other countries? Exactly. W what do you mean? I'm wondering if that is happening. Ah. Like, because I just feel like there's no way that they're just like completely unconnected and it just, like just so happened that like this country war is like converging at the same time that they finish the tunnels and like all this shit. Like it has to be something that they're orchestrating. And then I just wonder how are they orchestrating it? Genius part is with war one side wins and the other side dies so there will be blood on the ground mm -hmm. and we, it doesn't matter who they win either way yeah or even if it's a tie yeah some people die on both sides just, like there are gonna be people left on that battlefield it's literally the perfect thing but uh that's about it for this episode thank you for watching um make sure to like comment and subscribe down below if you're excited for more full metal alchemist coming every thursday and sunday at 12 p.m eastern standard time if you can't wait and want to see several episodes ahead these episodes are all posted to patreon right now in their extended uncut forms all all right, we have a lot to discuss before we do that. Where are we headed? All right, let's review. We had a bit of a pet bathroom emergency occur, so we had to take the dogs down and then we ran out of time. So uh, it's the next day and now we have had time to, be to a separate day. Yes, process this episode. <laughs> so we're gonna watch the post credit scene and then get to questions. All right. I'm ready to go. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, hello. This is Zampano reporting in. I'm one of Kimberly's soldiers. Dr. Marco and Scar are hiding out in the slums of Asbeck Village. You made the right move by oh telling my God. Okay. And you I totally promise that the you be protected. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Dr. Marco. Things it's so, so weird up. seeing them together. At first glance, it seems like he's like ratting them out, but maybe he's like baiting them. Who knows? Maybe this is their only move. Cause this is your it. jinx moment. Well, think about it. They only have, yeah, they only <laughs> have a small number of things they can really do against this big of a force and element of surprise. That's the only thing I think that could possibly work. So um, anyway, now we're going to go to our questions. Adam B asks, pride states that he left all unnecessary emotions within father, assuming this is true of all the homunculi and that the traits they embody have separated from father what does this leave father with if he's lost all seven deadly sins just like excess personality but like i have no idea that... what that would even look like i feel like it more results in like because think about it good qualities are not the deadly sins so technically it should leave him with all good qualities but the thing i'm thinking about is maybe they're good for the soul he's maybe a, a evil soul so if you take away all of the sins you're left with somebody who is only working on their own moral code but their moral code happens to be terrible like hmm. he's like all humans are like ants and i am simply gathering firewood it's almost like he's a computer that's decided its objective is assemble humanity and it's not a emotional thing so much as a it feels like it's his purpose of existence okay interesting yeah. well you said something earlier about the fact that you think that ed al and father might be the father's Son and Holy Spirit. If that's true, maybe this guy in the flask is the devil. So it's in like a Pandora's box situation? What does that mean? Pandora was given a box and told, don't open this. 
And then she opened it and let out every single bad thing in the world into the world. Ah, yes. So, I think that's quite literally what this is. Yes. Well. Totally. All right. The thing I'm wondering is we cut to the past of the dwarf in the flask in Hohenheim after the dwarf in the flask it already existed. What brought him into existence? Okay, that's a super interesting point. And also, if we're going with the Pandora's box analogy, the wrap up of that myth is that the only thing left was hope. Really? And that that's like the only thing oh. that can possibly outweigh everything that was left in the box. And you know Or what? everything that escaped the box. What freaking trait defines Ed and Al? It's hope. Right? Fantastic analogy there. Anyway. Uh, let's go to our second question. All right, Miss Sunflower94 asks, what are your thoughts on Hohenheim's conversation with Pride? What do you think his plans are to deal with Father? That was fascinating. First of all, that he ran away and his only things he could do were like try to throw stuff at it and he just went yeah. straight through it. But learning that Pride is in fact in a flask as well mm -hmm. and can't escape, it's fascinating to me. And also their conversation, like the amount of confidence that Hohenheim was showing. Yeah, right. And the amount of determination. He was like, I sent a declaration of war. Like, mm -hmm. but the most interesting part was that pride's pride was hurt when he mm -hmm. said that oh you're you look just like the other guy except for he can like walk around in europe <laughs> in a flask like and he was like i don't get angry i don't have that trait but he very clearly was angry mm -hmm. and as we've seen greed kind of like just left as a homunculus like he didn't even work for father mm -hmm. we saw envy working with ed to get out of that place like and then lying to father sloth doesn't even want to do what father says he just kind of is being forced to yeah. it's clear that even though he created them they follow him out of fear but i think there's a chance that they could be turned against him somehow i definitely agree i think there's definitely a pretty good portion of fear in there but i think also a lot of it is like programming where that's mm. just like how they work but i also think that given the correct conversation they could maybe work against father even if it's mm. like inadvertent just like gluttony did like exactly. where he led them to exactly yeah. interesting so i could see that being a thing but as for any other things i picked up during that conversation the fact that the tunnel is now complete and that is how pride is getting around so it really was just for pride mm -hmm. the thing that was interesting to me is that they established it was a shadows thing but even when hohenheim turned around and there were shadows he didn't follow hohenheim through the shadows like i'm confused yeah. the dynamics of that i think it might be a flask related thing is there a way that it's like a different kind of shadow that seems dumb but like a shadow from the sun versus a shadow from like a lantern mm. or a candle or an yeah. artificial or like light an eclipse or the moon, or the moon. The, well the thing that's why i think that it's a moon based thing because they keep showing the moon so an eclipse would be in the, we'd be in the shade you're probably just waiting for an eclipse yeah in an eclipse you know what happen. that's what we're waiting yeah. on probably because mm -hmm. an eclipse everything's in the shade yeah and now we're going to go to a final question posed by me let's see <laughs> Do you think that the guy who phoned in and told Envy about Scar and them was plotting? Or do you think that he was genuinely trying to tell them? Like, was he trying to set them up or was he working with them? That's a great question. You should do this professionally. Yeah. I think at this point it's genuine. Where We know how corrupt the entire government system is. I mean, I could definitely see it going the other way, but I feel like, you know, Occam's razor. Yeah, the thing for me is that this episode, they literally firsthand saw the circle and the math behind what Father was about to do yeah. to the country. And I don't think they hear that. I mean, okay, dark part of me is like they hear that and they go, I need to get on the lifeboat. Mm -hmm. I need to do whatever I can, which could be what's happening. But something tells me that that's not what's going to happen. And what's going to be the X factor that solves like the, the only thing that can possibly stop this flash guy is like the indomitable human spirit. Like mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a, their humanity is going to be what saves them. Okay. Just as much as their humanity got them uh, into this position in war. Anyway. It's all connected. It's all connected. That's about it for this episode. Uh, are we excited for episode 43 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? I can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.